All right, everybody. This is a review on the Samsung Galaxy J7 for Metro PCS. Here is the phone itself. It's a Samsung Galaxy J7 um, by Samsung. It's really, really big, as you can tell. It looks exactly like a Samsung Galaxy S3 with these buttons and these two buttons back here. Um, but really huge. Um, here's the back. It has a uh, flash and a camera and a speaker there, Samsung Galaxy J7. The beauty about this phone and other Galaxy phones that come out today is that these phone, th this phone in particular has a removable back. Uh, a lot of phones today don't have that. As you can see, I'm running it with a 64 gigabyte SD card so it supports it. And here is the battery. The battery is a whopping 3,000 milliamps. So it's a huge, massive battery. It lasted me the whole day without any perks or um, any lag whatsoever. And that's with using it during work, using it um, basically at a good rate, watching videos and going online and stuff. Um, here's the phone itself. Uh, there's the screen right there, the lock screen. Um, wake it up by pushing this button or pushing the lock and unlock button in here. Uh, on the side, you have your volume rocker with down and up keys. Um, and on the top, you have a uh, micro, I mean, you have a um, headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Nothing in there. On the bottom, you have... Actually, the headphone jack is in the bottom, my bad. Uh, you have the headphone jack and you have the charging port, which is standard micro, S mi micro uh, USB port. On the top here, you only have um, your um, noise cancellation thing. Webcam in the front, uh, notification lights up here, and you get your uh, headset grill there. Here's the phone, you slide up to unlock. Um, the beauty about this phone is that this phone comes with um, bloatware not installed. If you look here on the apps itself, that's all that's installed. You can't swipe left or right. That's it. So basically you get a calculator. Calculator is a regular calculator. Turn it on its side. It turns into a scientific calculator. Um, you get the calendar. Of course, you can make plans on the calendar. It looks really cool, really nice. Today, you can swipe up and down for the month, for the year, for the day, for the week. More, search, manage, settings, set up appointments and dates. Um, we also get the camera. The camera is the star of this phone. We're going to cancel because I don't want people to know where I am. There I am everybody, I'm making this video on YouTube about this phone wearing my uh, Navi timer. I mean, uh, Navi Hawk, sorry. <laughs> I get confused. Uh, okay, so on the settings here we get, let's turn it upside down. This is a front facing camera setting. The front facing camera is a, oops, sorry. It's a five megapixel camera. So it takes up to uh, 2576 by 1932 uh, resolution. Um, you can scroll down by that all the way up to 2.4 megapixel for the front facing camera. You get all these options. Uh, also, you get all these settings for the front gesture. Uh, you save it as a preview, grid lines, location, reviews, pictures, quick launch, storage if you have it in the device, or you can have it in the SD card. Pick SD card. Uh, volume to take pictures, shutter sound to make it be quiet and stuff. Um, let's go back up here. You get your flash on and off, but it's not available in the front facing camera. Uh, you get the timer here. How much, how many seconds you want at the time. Um, your effects here. Click on that. It's kind of hard clicking on it and going on them. Fucking, here we go. Negative, sepia, grayscale, no effect. Uh, we get more settings up here. Basically nothing there. Um, mode, 
we're in front facing camera mode you can take pictures you can record and the gallery is there um, on the other backside camera uh, as you can see this is what we get auto and then you click on this here and it focuses wherever you are down here we get the brightness and we click on this here and we get all the effects again on the rear the video size is full HD 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 or VGA which is standard TV quality for ADP we get the exact same things as in the front facing camera up here the back facing camera is a 13 megapixel camera so it's 4128 by 3096 can scroll all the way down to a 2 megapixel um, 16 by 9 ratio and there's different ratios basically mm -hmm. um, the same effects so you get flash on and off timer on and off the effects of the same thing okay let's go back okay we get the clock if you get a clock you get a world clock to tell the time around the world if you're traveling Stop watch if you're running with the phone and want to take your time. Timer if you're baking stuff or if you want to um, make sure that you're on time for an appointment and stuff or wake you up from the alarm. Contacts. Gallery. There's the gallery. Scroll up and down or scroll by here. Um, as you can see here, here's the picture. That's me handling some weight there. Uh, another picture. It's very nice. It's me at work, fixing watches at work. Pretty cool. Um, and yeah, a memo. You can add memo notes and stuff. Manage categories, add notes with this little button down here. Uh, here's the keyboard. It's a QWERTY keyboard. It's a full facing QWERTY keyboard. It has swipe enabled. So you can just um, swipe away and right um right by swiping away and there is the um there is the result uh you can do task manage you know drawing voice it's pretty cool so we're gonna discard it it's the phone uh we'll go on Let's see, search. Actually, let's go on this one. Here is the um, the dial pad. You click on the dial pad and it shows you the numbers there. We have more. Two second pause to dial. We wait. Send message, speed dial, or settings. Um, here are the settings for the, the phone itself. Service provider, voicemail, alert, vibrate on and off. Uh, down here you get the default things like phone, messages, internet. Here's the applications again. Play Store, take a look at that. That comes default with the phone itself. You can run all sorts of applications from the Android market. It's pretty cool, as you can see. These are the top free, we get the top paid, we get games, we get all this good stuff around here. Uh, let's see. Uh, settings with the device. You guys want to look at the settings. You got the notification, display, wallpaper, themes, lock, and battery. That's for the volume. Do not disturb or change the feedback and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, the display itself, the brightness, make it bright, make it lighter, make it brighter. <laughs> um, the font, the icons, how big you want it to be, the screen, uh, wallpapers, what is pre installed already. Basically, down here, nothing but like glass wallpapers. Uh, we have themes for the device as well that have to be downloaded through the um through the store as you can see theme store we're not going to do that now but you can change your whole theme icon to be like an iphone if you want to do that which is pretty cool lock screen um, 
the lock screen, the security if you wanna um, have your phone um, secure. So if, if somebody grabs it, if your girlfriend grabs it, they can't get in there. But you want it to be more secure. Um, unknown sources would, well, I'm gonna allow it because I'm gonna install some apps on here. But yeah, um, you can have a security password there so nobody can get in it. And the battery, this tells you how much battery life you have and how much usage has been done. It does power saving, ultra power saving. Um, details, percentage bar, so far we're at 36%. Uh, we get all these options like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane, airplane mode. And this does a wireless tether right out of the box. So you don't have to do all that um, hacking to the device basically. It lets you create um, its own password and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's go back. Data usage, mobile hotspot, networks, NFC, manager applications, which is a good uh, another big one. Takes you to the application managers to see what's installed in the device. As you can see, I disabled a lot of stuff that came with it, like the Google um, Play Music, Play TV, Play, um, all that crap. But I kept the very important stuff. And here is the application that's basically you've been using more. Uh, we had sounds, vibration, notifications, wallpaper. I mean, we have wallpaper themes, home screen. We looked at all this stuff. But yeah, um, you click and hold the screen and we get the widgets icon. And these are all the widgets that are available pre-installed um, in the device itself. And that's basically it. Um, it comes installed with very little bloatware. Very little bloatware applications are installed, so that's fantastic. You don't, you don't, all the bloatware you get is basically the Metro stuff that I disabled, and the Google Play Store. Um, I mean, the Google Play Music and the Google Play Magazine and the Google Play or whatever the hell that is, Play Photo or whatever. I I disable all that crap, so it's a very clean environment. As you can see, everything is handled in one page, so it's very, very, very clean. Um, it's very, the phone is very big. That's really good because it's a really, really, really fantastic phone to have. Um, the battery life, I've been using it all day very heavily and I still have 36% left, which is pretty damn good. I mean, my last phone was the HTC 626S and that lasted me half a day. But yeah, um, if you have any questions about this phone, um, feel free to ask me and I will answer them. Um, but so far, the Galaxy J7 has been really fast. I'm going to install a couple applications on it to see how much that would impact the performance. And I'll let you guys know it accepts 64 gig uh, micro SD card. So it's very good. It might accept the 128 gig one. I'm not sure. Um, check back with me later. But yeah, so far is a good, good environment, good speed, good connection. It's 4G LTE as you can see up there. LTE 4G. Uh, fantastic camera, fantastic everything. The only downside is the really huge phone that you have to carry in your pocket. But other than that, everything's good. So yeah, um, that's the review for the Metro PCS Samsung Galaxy J7 bloat-free uh, smartphone with a removable cover from Samsung. So this is a really, really, really good thumbs up phone. Hope you enjoy.